Please be seated. Sit down for just 10 minutes, okay? Amen. Oh my God. It's very cold than last week. You see, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> Even me, I don't know why I come in winter. I don't know. Amen. But thank God I'll be here in November as well. So <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Amen. God bless you. Okay. Let's do just a simple scripture. First Samuel chapter 9. Now the story is about the whole of the uh, uh, first Samuel, but let's pick up some verses from it, then we are good to go. First Samuel chapter 9, the verse number 6. To 9, we will read from verse 6 to 9, then we will jump from verse 9 to verse 15. From the verse 15 to we will end on the verse 17. Then we will jump from the verse 17 to the verse number 22 to 24. Then the last one will be first Samuel chapter 10, verse 1. So let's just read as we, 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 um, your custom is as we are standing, remain standing. Let us read um, the verse number 6. Okay. <laughs> ah, remember what I told you. So sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but a servant replied, Look, in this town there is a man of God. He is highly respected and everything. He says, come through, comes through. Let's go to, let's go there now. Perhaps he will tell us what way to take. Oh my God. Can I prophesy upon somebody? This morning, I am here to decode what is about to transpire in your future. God has sent me to you to bring elevation, direction, purpose. And if you are stuck, I am here to accelerate your move. Somebody say my move. Oh my God. <laughs> are you here? You see, we are sent we are the careers of destinies not only individuals but of nations are you listening to me we are called as a holy nation a royal priesthood kings and queens to impart our generation for the future to be affected positively the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Are you here? So, 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 uh -huh. so said to the servant, let us go. I've heard, I've heard, I've heard that there is a man he can see through the deepest of the unseen and reveal mysteries from the coded things to bring to pass what is yet to happen. So if we can be able to see that man, then maybe, somebody say maybe, oh say maybe, he can show us the way. Oh, today I'm here to show you your way to your marital destiny. Oh, to the glorious destiny that comes. Are you here with me? I am here to, 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 to pinpoint 
to you the right direction that you should take for you to reach your greatness your prosperity somebody say I receive uh, are you here today I am here as the voice of God to direct you to the position that God have created for you are you here if you don't have direction after this direction after this service there shall be a direction oh shall I receive lies are falling in pleasant places this morning oh my god if we go what can we give the man when the servant told Saul that I've heard that there is a man in this city that if we go to him all our problems shall be solved because of time I want you to sit down so uh, let's finish reading okay let's finish reading no 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 go back yeah so 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 uh, sorry so said to his servant if we go what can we give the man the food in our sacks is gone we have no gift to take to the man of God what do we have let's continue the servant answered him again look he said I have a quarter of a shekel of silver I will give it to the man of God so that he will tell us what way to go formally in Israel if someone went to inquire of God they would say come let us go to the seer because the prophet of today used to be called a seer. Now, the day before Saul came, the Lord had revealed this to Samuel. Let's pause there. We will continue. Please be seated. <laughs> Are you here? Listen. Men of God are not anybody's mate. That is why this is what people don't get. It. People don't understand. It's not pride. I'm not quoting out of scripture. I'm quoting from scripture. The donkey of Saul's father got lost. And the father sent his son Saul to search for the lost donkey. Now, listen to this. Saul went with one of the servants, they search and search throughout the day. It was getting to night and the donkey, donkey was nowhere to be found. Saul so said, hey, we can't go home and tell my dad this. Our food is finished. Everything is finished. What are we going to do? The servant said, I have heard of a man. I have heard of a man that if we go to inquire, maybe that man can pinpoint to us the right direction where the donkey is. 
The servant did not say, I have heard of a president who can find a donkey for us. I have heard of a lawyer. I have heard of a doctor. He said, I've heard of a man. It means not just a man. He is trying to pinpoint to demand a certain man. That that man sees what others cannot see. Oh my God. Are you listening? I have 15 minutes to be done with this. It will not be as last week. Don't worry. <laughs> Hallelujah. I have, heard, I have heard of a man that even when the president loses his seat, he goes to that man to find his seat. No, you are not getting what I'm saying. You see, we men of God, we are made are you, to make presidents and unmake presidents. I'm telling you, to make kings and unmake kings. The same somewhere that the Bible is talking about, talking about made Saul a king. And he unmade Saul a king. The Bible declared that he anointed him to be a king of Israel. And so he was. And the Bible declared that the day that he disobeyed, Samuel got angry. And he said, what have you done? What have you done? From today going, God said, what you have done? When Saul was talking, someone was talking to Saul and was angry. Samuel decided to leave. And Saul hold on to the altar, you know, the castle. And the Bible said that it teared half into the hands of Saul. And someone turned and said to him, you see how this castle has been teared into two. So your kingdom has been taken from you. And that was the day that Saul lost his kingship. He made him and he had that ability to unmake him. Don't joke about men of God. Don't joke about your father. Listen to me. When you, when you study the scriptures, study it carefully. What transpired? Someone did not hear from God. That you see the attire that have been teared into two. I've taken the kingdom from him. No. When the attire teared, someone decreed as his position as a prophet that it has been, because it has been teared. Oh my God. The kingdom, by my words, have been taken from you. And so it was. Men of God are dangerous. Don't joke about a man of God. A, a true man of God for that matter. This generation, we joke about everything and we joke about men of God. Who is this? Who is that? Listen, me, it's not pride. I'm dangerous. I'm telling you, it's not pride. I am dangerous. I can mess you up. I'm telling you, I know how to mess you up. My own cousin, up to now, I regret it. But I did to her. I mess her up. You can touch my everything, but not my anointing and my family. Don't go there. If you dare, I will mess you up. You will see that power is never powder. <laughs> if power is powder, then women would have supposed to be the most powerful people on this earth. Because women use powder a lot. <laughs> women and San Gomez. But because power is never powder, you see now. <laughs> Are you listening to me? <laughs> because of time, they said, somewhere said, 
What are we going to take to the man of God? This is one of the bitter truths about life that people must accept. What are we going to take to the man of God? In other words, the man of God can never prophesy to us, inquire about the reason why we came without a sacrifice. Without a sacrifice. Nowadays, pastors, money, money. It's scriptural. Even pastors, so-called pastors, some fathers are even talking about this. Once they know they read it. The reason why you are here right now, the reason why you are born again, child of God, saved with the precious blood of Jesus, was as a result of sacrifice. Nothing goes without nothing coming. If nothing goes, nothing will ever come. That is life. The reason why you have a child is that your husband we, uh, you know. There was a seed from your husband into you. If you want to be in line with the journey of your destiny, Learn to make sacrifices, especially to your man of God. I'm telling you, there is this son of man. I think he is even watching right now. He is in the United Kingdom. He is a prophet. Oh, I love that boy. I love that boy. I love that boy. He is the first person who ever has and has ever gave to me his first fruit. Not one, several. Pounds, first fruit in pounds. You, you know, you know. Every January, first fruit, bam, into my account. This thing that I'm wearing, he bought it for me. Now, I'm, 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 I'm taking you somewhere. Bro, do you know what happened? He's in the States, uh, uh, United Kingdom, and he, he doesn't have papers. They gave him two years, they, so the two years expired, I think, last year. Nothing to show for concerning the papers. But I said to him, son, the sacrifices that you have made for me, the sacrifices, it will never go unremembered. In front of God. I pray for you. Something is coming. When you come into my house, our living room, the television, that is the, the huge one. He sent it from the United Kingdom to me. Yeah. I, on, I, I, I can mention so many things that this son of mine has sacrificed for me. So why? Must he be deprived of his documents? Why? As a father, it is impossible. Why? No. This son of mine. No. I told him, I said, Junior, let me tell you this. If the United Kingdom tries to bring you to Ghana, then I'm not a man of God. If you are coming to Ghana, then it is you. Who have decided to come to Ghana. But apart from that. The land belongs to you. And you belong to that land. About. I think three months ago. He called me and he, he was shaking. He said. Dad. What has happened? You won't believe it. Somebody has paid for. A citizenship document, 17,000 pounds. Yeah. No visa. Citizenship, 17,000 pounds. Let me tell you, grace works. Grace, it works. There are people that 
have left this man and now their home their family is in chaos because they left grace yeah I can't remember was it 2018 or so there about I, I came to South Africa and you brought a certain guy to me and you said my brother prophesy him at your office at, um, I forgot is it here? no not here yeah immediately he said prophesy him I laughed and I began to scan the guy and I said you know what your problem is because you left this place bishop just stood up and jumped he said ah my brother <laughs> you remember and I said since you left this has happened this has happened this has happened so something told you to come to to come back and now you are here he said it is true nothing's working I, I, I saw he was in drive like taxi something like that right everything because he got out of the grace listen in the olden days men valued men of God but our generation we are treated like like garbage let me tell you somebody anointing works for those that celebrate it when you follow anointing it works for you if you put this value on the anointing it will never work for you that is when men start to say my father is not anointed my father doesn't have any grace no it is not him but the problem is you the connection is not working the reason why you can pick your phone and dial a certain number on your phone with an, with an MTN network to call somebody then that person will pick their phone at the end maybe that person is even outside Cape Town maybe that person is in Port Elizabeth maybe that person is in, is in Durban maybe that person is in Johannesburg but you call the person from here and the person can hear your voice it's because of a network when there, there is a problem about the network you hear it's not getting clearer why? Because there is, a, there, is a, there is a problem about the network. But when the network is effective, you hear the person's voice clearly. The same is at the spiritual system. When your connection with your man of God is what? Accurate and perfect and in line. His anointing comes upon you perfectly. Works for you perfectly changes your life your home your family let me tell you whilst you are asleep then the anointing will be working for you whilst you are resting the anointing will be working for you whilst the enemy is planning about your life the anointing will be fighting for you say oh lord let the anointing of my father come upon me shock you <laughs> God said Moses the job is too much for you the people are many so I want you to select 72 out of the people right let them gather in front of the tent and as they gather I will take off some of your spirit and place it upon them right good now hear this the bible said that moses obeyed it was moses that god spoke to god never spoke to any 72 people so moses as a prophet began to scan among the millions of the israelites and discovered the 72 people the bible said that he called for them to gather in front of the tent and the bible declared that they gathered and God took the spirit of Moses and began to place upon them 
And the Bible said that they fell under the, and under the anointing. And they started prophesying. Is that so? But the Bible says there were two men who, who were not part of the 72. In other words, 70 came, left with two who forgot that the meeting was today. And the Bible says that they were among the people at the camp. But look at this. The Bible says when the spirit started falling upon the 70 and the spirit did the research and discovered that two were not present. So the spirit of Moses moved from the 70. Watch this. Moved from the 70 into the camp of the Israelites. Millions of people but the spirit of Moses was searching in the millions for two people. No. Are, are, are you getting me? <laughs> oh my God. The spirit of Moses was searching for two people among millions. Whilst Moses was standing in front of the tent by his spirit it has gone into the camp. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, are, are you here? Bro, are they listening to me? And began to search. Somebody say search. And found those two. And the Bible said, pa, pa. they fell under the anointing. And they started prophesying. And the Bible declared that men came from the camp into the uh, uh, t- uh, uh, tent meeting and told Moses, that Moses, there's two, these two guys, they are prophesying like you. Moses said, don't worry. My spirit did it. Let me tell you. <laughs> you see, I told our church that you see, I can sleep. I can sleep. Then my spirit will be working without my consent for a daughter of mine for a certain son of mine. Let me shock you. <laughs> there was this lady at our church. This lady came to testify. And as she was testifying, she was f- falling under the anointing, crying. And we say, well, lady, calm down, talk. The lady could not talk until the ministers calmed her down. And she started to talk. Now, after she talked, now we, we, we did know the reason why she was shivering. She said, she has a son. The son was about, let's say, is it five years, six, seven, something like that. The son got sick. Serious. And her and the grandmother took the son to the hospital. The doctors did everything. Uh, they were at the hospital for three days. So, when everything was said and done at the hospital, the child was okay. So they, they discharged them, right? So you need to pay. You know that. But he said, she said, there was no money on me. There was no money on my grandmother. We have made calls and calls everywhere. Nobody. Nothing was happening. So we told the doctors that we are working on it. So from the morning going we have been thinking God why how so I stood out of the hospital room you know the bed walk out into the hall of the hospital thinking oh God help me oh God what is this then I lift up my eyes and there was this doctor in front of me asking daughter what is wrong with you and I told him my problem and he said, don't worry. It is already taken care of. You can go and pick up your son to your house. I asked him, how, who, how is it possible? When did it or the amount was being paid that I never knew? The doctor said, I said, don't worry. It is already taken care of. So she said, I went in, told my grandmother, we pick, we pick up my son. We were about to leave the hospital. Where we came to the car park, I told my grandmother, no, I forgot about something. I need to thank that doctor. 
So I went back into the hospital hall looking for the doctor. I searched every hall, every room. I could not find the doctor. Then I went to the reception. <laughs> Come again. Yeah, I'm talking about her. So then she went to the reception and told them, I'm looking for a certain doctor, blah, 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 blah. They said, what is his name? Do you know the name that the doctor gave to the girl? That was when he, she realized what has happened. When the girl asked him the second time, why are you doing this? And he said, the doctor said, don't worry. It is already what? Taken care of. Listen to what happened. She said, I thank the doctor. And I asked his name. And the doctor said, my name is Dr. Kusi. They are not getting it right. My said name is Kusi. I am Kusi. <laughs> so all this while, the lady was going about everything, taking the, the child to the car, into the car, coming back into the hospital, looking for the doctor. He, she, uh, she was not getting it until the receptionist asked her, what is the name of the doctor? And, uh, and that my daughter said, she said, he said his name is Dr. Kusi. Then, do you know what happened? The nurses checked. The receptionist, they checked. They checked. They checked. They said, lady, you know what? There's no doctor that I've ever worked in this hospital that is called Dr. Kusi. <laughs> and at that time, when they when Minister Enoch asked her, what did, when did this happen and what time? When she said the day and the time, that time, I was far asleep. I was sleeping, as a matter of fact, I was sleeping like, like, like sleeping. But my spirit went into the hospital. <laughs> I, 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 are you listening to me? You see, men of God are not normal men of God men of God are not normal the things that God uses us to do no normal people can do it but before you can connect to our grace there must be a sacrifice that one you need to put it in your mind never forget never there are some people in my life dare not to touch them don't don't try it don't try to touch them if you touch them you have touched me let's go to the prophet maybe maybe he can show us where the donkey is when they go to the prophet oh my god do you remember the last verse that we read? The Bible says that before their day will come for them to look for the donkey, God has already spoken to the prophet about the arrival of Samuel. <laughs> you don't get me. They are, they, are, they, they are not getting me. Are you getting me? They, say, they are saying, let us go. Maybe. No knowing. That where they are going, God has already spoken to the prophet about them. Your future is already packaged and has been handed into the possession of your man of God. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> you see, all that you need to do is to connect. I'm telling you, all that you need to do there are some people, if you haven't met Bishop, you know, you would have died by now. 
There are some people, if you haven't met Bishop Fino, you have been single by now. There are some people, if you haven't met Bishop Fino, you have been jobless by now. There are some people, if you haven't met... met uh, 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 somebody say, it is connected. All that you need to do is just connect. The prophet has already gotten their message. So in other words, let me shock you. The prophet has gone ahead of time. Even before that time arrives, the prophet has already gone into that time. Bro, do you know? Last, um, let's say about two months ago, God took me to the future of this earth. I'm talking about 100 years ahead. I saw it. But he said, I brought you to this journey for you to see something. So I, oh my God. He was taking me to 2025, 2026, 2027. It was numbers. And if I stood, position myself on this number, I enter into that year. Then I'll begin to see this. But he said, that's not the most important thing. I brought you to see something. And what I saw shocked me. There is something ahead of time that is coming. That one, if November, if God permits and I come and I'll be in CKLI, I'll tell you. <laughs> we go ahead of time. Yes. There are some people you are in time. But there are some people they are in time and they go ahead of time. <laughs> you see, like this my father. Do you know the reason why he has done his leg like this? Daddy, sorry, okay? Because there's a problem about this leg. Is that true? Is that true? Yes. Do you know why? Because I have gone ahead of the years ahead of him. And I have seen what he is about to experience. I have already seen it. And you think I am normal. No, I am crazy. As a matter of fact, if you think I am normal, then you are abnormal. know him. I've never spoke to him before. But I know things about him. <laughs> and I'm going to work on it so that what is ahead of him will never happen to him. That the will of God concerning you will be established. Somebody say, yeah. Ah, are you here with me? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, CK, this morning is just warm up. Tonight, you can't miss it. I'm telling you, tonight, you can't miss it. Tonight, you can't. I'm going to work. I'm going to do what my father sent me here to do. I am born for this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Clap unto Jesus, somebody. Oh my God. I saw, I saw things. As a matter of fact, I, I went, God took me about 50 years ahead of the earth. So, some of us, presidents must not, must not joke with us. They must call you, Ramaphosa must call you, so that you interpret to him the reason why he lost the auto, 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 what do you call it? Is it auto, 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 auto? You also prophesy. I'm opposing you. I'm telling you. It's on Facebook. Please, His Excellency Salusa, you need to look for Bishop Fino. Before the donkey lost, the man of God has already gone ahead of time to see. 
So, oh, 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 when, when, when they got to the man of God, when they were coming, God said, this is the one that I told you about yesterday. That is Saul. Give the nation to him. And the Bible says, when they came, they wanted to talk. The prophet said, don't worry. I know the reason why you are here. Follow me. You see, you need to follow your man of God. And Saul started following the man of God. The prophet. And the Bible said that they went, they went into the tower. Where there were 30 men. Seated around a dining table. But there were two seats. That were left empty. Around the dining table. One of them was at the edge. And the other was at the edge. So somewhere sat at the edge of one. And one was still empty. Then someone said. So that seat there. Was reserved for you. I reserved the seat. For you. Even before you came. Go and sit on that seat. Maybe you don't get it. Maybe you don't get it. But my brother, guess what I'm saying? You see, when you enter into a certain meeting with a big table or something like that, or a dining, then you, you see a, an edge seat. It means it is there for the head of the table. So in other words, all those 30 elders that have gathered, they were waiting for the head who is Saul? Who don't know that he is the head? Searching for a donkey. There are some of you. You are presidents, but you don't know. Oh, they don't get what I'm saying. There are some of you. You are lawyers, but you don't know. There are some of you. You are more than billionaires, but you don't know. Until you meet the prophet. Until you meet the, your man of God. You will never know your destiny. So never know his destiny until he met prophet somewhere. Uh, men of God are destiny careers. Sit down, give me two minutes. Look, and the Bible says, when Saul sat down on the chair, Samuel said, where is the cook? Come. The cook came. Listen to what happened. When Samuel sat on the seat, all of the 30 men, including Saul, no, when Saul sat on the seat, all the 30 men, including Samuel, food was in front of them. But it was only Saul his space was empty. There was no food. So I think the guy was sitting there like, why, why, why me? Where is my food? Like, like he was thinking, where, 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 where is my food? Then, when Samuel called the cook, this is what Prophet Samuel said. He said, cook, remember the food that I gave you to keep it, to reserve it. The owner has come. Bring it. So this guy was going helter skelter, searching for a donkey, whilst his food is waiting for him somewhere. You need a prophet to link you to your husband, or that guy that you call your boyfriend will use you uselessly. No, they don't get it. <laughs> they don't get what I'm saying. Now some of you, you are, you are following the guy just like this. He's, he, he's going to marry me. If anybody asks you why you love him, he said he's going he, he to marry me. You will follow like this. Whilst your husband is somewhere. So this guy is just driving. He's just driving. You see, and anyone, ladies, any, any guy that will not marry you, when he drives, he drives roughly. Uh. So until you meet your prophet you will be going helter skelter there are some of you you have chosen a course in law whilst God wants you to be a lawyer 
until you meet the prophet you will never know so you have chosen a wrong path this morning I'm here to bring you to your right path uh, uh, are you here are you here you see you you're supposed to be a, an air host are you you an air host aviation is she's supposed to be in aviation this one but she's not you see this is my assignment <laughs> oh my god <laughs> because the enemy knew the enemy knew before time that this one is gonna travel all over the world through aviation so they said let's change it what do you do now PLD in what I can't get here you, 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 you did not hear what she said, eh? Bro? Uh, you said bio. Uh, okay, I'm doing my PhD, but my research is in public health. Public so, health? Yes. You're supposed to be an air hoster. You will meet your husband in the plane. I'm coming to you. <laughs> Oh, clap unto Jesus, somebody. <laughs> Bring the food. This morning, I'm bringing your money. I'm bringing your husband. I'm bringing your wife. I'm bringing your wealth and riches. <laughs> you don't want the husband. This one. On the plane. You don't want. Why? <laughs> no. That, 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 that one does not work in the plane. No. The husband does not work in the plane. Yeah. We, we prophets, we confuse things. He knows, he knows. We are, we are confusers. We mess up things. That's why people dislike us. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming to her. She should not worry. Amen. What has been reserved for you? It will take a prophet for you to get it. I speak over your life. I said, I speak over your life. I said, I speak over your life. I prophesy over your life. Whatsoever that God has installed for your life, for your destiny, I decree and I declare as an apostle and the mouthpiece of God, it is coming to you. It is coming to you. It is coming to you. Shout out, receive. Sit down. The last verse, which is the verse number 10, in chapter 1, verse 10, the Bible talks about before Samuel could leave, I saw could leave, the Bible said that the prophet took an oil and anointed him. That was when he became, that was the day, not after, that was spiritually now, it was established. That he was a king. I pray for you. With my mouth, I decree and I declare what is for you shall never be given to another. What is for you? The wealth, the riches, your glorious marriage, your glorious wife your glorious husband is coming to you. That property of a house, that property of a land is coming to you. It's coming to you. 
that contract that tender is coming to you that job is coming to you that business breakthrough is coming to you to receive receive Speak in the spirit with me, speak in the spirit with me, speak in the spirit with me. said he has already delivered it into your location you are going to testify don't cry again you are going to hear the cry that you want to hear in your house do you hear me now listen to me and the Lord said today I'm going to be fast the Lord said I should tell you that I have a bigger plan for her to tell her that what she's worrying about she should not worry about it. It's already done. But I have a bigger plan for her. 
and I saw an angel. That angel stood in front of you and handed to you a key. The key was one, but the key was a golden key. And I saw on the key, the holder, the holder, you know, the key holder. We have a key and we have the key holder. I saw the key holder was made up of multiple um, 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 f- uh, flags of nations. And the angel handed the key to you. And immediately, I will see. I see the whole of your circumference as you were standing there and the angel handed to you. I saw you in a cloud. You know, clouds with the angel. But when the angel handed the key to you, immediately, I saw the atmosphere and the circumference changed. And I saw you sitting in front of a head of state. A head, do you know a head of state? A head of state, like a president. Because I saw you in a president's office. Mark today's date. This one. Especially you are going to move through Africa a lot. Africa countries. You move to the west, but you move to Africa countries a lot. Because there is something God is about to do, and it is going to start happening from next year my sister you are going to own properties where is your your husband Ah, the guy is already holding the wife you know what you do everybody has his ministry i have my ministry he has his when i'm in my elements he does not interfere you need to gather a seed part from you part from you put it together pray over it and give it to him if you can do it on his birthday separately from all whatever that you will be giving to the church to him you do a separate one you ask for god about two things what he is about to usher you people into and what you people have been craving for i give you one year do you know something you are the only person that the lord said i should anoint you i heard it the Lord said, I anoint her. Gentlemen, hold on to her carefully because this one, God is going to use her to open doors for you huh? to pray with ministers, head of states, and all those kind of. Something is about to happen to you people. But please, no matter what, Never leave CKLI. Never leave this man. When you leave this man, you will start coming down. Do you hear me? God, God has seen your hearts. Your hearts are so pure. Mark my words. Mark my words. So whatever that you are doing in this church, begin to groom somebody to, to be in place of you because you will not, you will be unstable. Moving, moving, moving. Take it. Take it. Pack all scum. tonight when you are coming bring a white handkerchief one two three four five six seven white handkerchiefs are you listening to me now every handkerchief tied it 
connect it to the other. Are you listening? Then put it in something clean that will not be a, what do you call it? Don't bag it. Just put it. As you are tied it like this, you put it in something like a, a, a paper bag or something. Bring it. Yeah. Some. Oh, there is, there is even a book. A book is in you. Book. You are going to write a book about. I can give you your your the, your book title like something something model. Not a modeler. No, no, no. The book is like the theme is about something something model. If you look, you go this this will happen like. No, I went into this, blah, blah, blah. The book is gonna sold out. Amen. Now, that's not the reason why I call you. Well, <laughs> immediately, you, you stood here. That is when God spoke to me about the book. That's not the reason why I call you. The reason why I call you is this 2025 is your year. have to do what what do you have to do with something yeah I, I don't hear what, what she said I have no relation with sentence so go and write it down something then you write today's date okay something is happening to you Something <laughs> serious. You are not married. But you I know you. I'm talking about physical. I know you. No, 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 no. She's not. <laughs> My accent, you get don't, I said you. I know you. This is not a prophecy. I know you, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a prophecy because isn't she the one um, heading the university campus church I know you I know you physically I know you spiritually both I know, I know everywhere you go I know you let me tell you if I tell you that you are going to marry next year will you believe it the time is up okay. if I tell you that I see a wedding ring and a car will you believe it <laughs> you see because of time and we will be here tonight. That's why I'm cutting the prophecies. I'm just going straight to what is important. Something is going to shock you. Something is going to shock you. I see. <laughs> I see a wedding ring. And the ring is on top of the car. No, no, no. I'm not done, so. Listen, I need to talk to you one on one. Maybe after the Rafa service or something, or in the evening. We will talk, okay? 
your marriage is so glorious so the enemy never wants you to get it because your marriage eh, the marriage that you are bringing into your home there is a witch who doesn't want that marriage in the home she says she eh, mm, what this one in our house never but I saw your father pushing you and the man into the house and I saw that when the woman tried to resist your father stopped pushing you Go, went in front of you and slapped the woman and the woman fell and he turned and said my daughter it is done Congratulations. Because she will not die. She will not die. She would have died this month. Yeah. A car, a car accident. A car accident with a certain. There will be two people with him. One of them is a singer. One of them is a singer. You know, somebody a songstress. That yeah like music the person is a singer who ministered ministers at the altar of God the person is a, is a man I don't know if it is her fiancé or not I don't know she's not married I don't know tell her I need her tonight okay she will not die before her time come what do you do what do you do You don't do anything. So you wake up, you eat, you sleep. <laughs> then you wake up again, then you eat, then you sleep. Then you wake up again, then you eat, then you sleep. Hey, it's good for you. She's for <laughs> yeah. She's not working, yeah. 
The reason why I'm asking you is that something is coming to you. There is a job coming to you, okay? Because you have been you have been praying for it. Yeah, you say it has been long. You have been long. It has been long. Why me? Why me? Why me? If I eat, somebody must give the money to me. No, no. You are not married. Where is your husband? You see, that's why you know a true man of God. I did not look at her hand. I did not look at her hand. If I look, I say you are married. I ask, you are not married. No, you are married. Okay. So where's the husband? What, what was he doing? What was he doing? What is he doing? What? Yeah. Work. Oh, he's a mechanical engineer. He doesn't. He doesn't. I'm coming. I'm coming. He doesn't come to church here. Tell him I need him tonight. Okay, I, I will continue when he comes. Go, because there is something that we need to. I need to tell you both. We correct it. Then you move forward. Clap onto Jesus. Tell him I need him. Okay, I need him tonight. You people have been stuck for so long. You have been like, you have been in one place, and and even from last year, there is a retrogression. Yes. Yes. You know, instead of moving back. You go forward, sorry. You are moving back. There is something. There is something that is going on that we need to correct. Without your husband, we can't correct it. Excuse me. So I need him tonight. Okay? Tell him that whatever that he is doing, he should stop and come. Do you hear me? Or, or else your home will be destroyed. Your home will be destroyed. Or else your, your husband, somebody will tell you that your husband has integrated somebody. Ah, this is my mouth. Sometimes he coaches me. This is my mouth. Eh? Please. Hey! Now you like. Stay cool. Stay cool. Stay cool. There is a football club in Ghana. It is called Stay Cool. Stay cool. <laughs> stay cool, okay? Don't worry. It's the plan of the enemy. You are going to handle it, okay? Don't go and fight your husband. No. Did he, did he, is she listening to me? Yes. What did I say? Good. Your husband doesn't have any problem. There is no problem. There is, there is a problem that we need to correct. Okay? Good. Good. Did you know what? For the enemy for you. <laughs> Whatsoever that the enemy has planned, that you you hold a supporting, you know, stick. Yeah, then after that you will sit in a wheelchair. I stand as a man of God. And I reverse it. God never created you to hold a what can stick and sit in a wheelchair. For about some time now, if I count the years, it's about five years something. Your leg. At first, it was like it is going, then it comes. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> it, it going, then you feel a sensation. A wrong sensation. Sometimes it becomes stiff. Like stiff. Like then you cannot do it like this. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like, like it's stiff like this. If you want to, it can't go. It's just like stuck. Stuck. It's true. An angel is standing by you now. Working, working. Not just your leg. At times, 
your fingers. <laughs> your fingers, at times, it also does that. The Lord is saying, what is happening is not paralysis. It's not stroke. <laughs> at our church, they call me doctor. Go, you know what? I can scan your body without a machine. Yeah. I was scan is simple. So sometimes somebody will come to me, ah, Papa, this is happening to my um, heart. I will scan. Then the Lord said, the problem is not the heart. It is what is going on that is uh, that the heart is reacting to. Then the Lord will give me the solution. Then we solve it. So I've, I've scanned your body. There are four things that we need to correct in your body. You see, this thing, if you have gone to the doctor, you have paid. But now, I'm giving it for you free of charge. And I'm not saying for saying sake, after today, you will see a change in your body. Manamoshke. <laughs> Jesus name out of him you that devil out scapa tope coscope many mana 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 copa 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 yadnada Celebrate Jesus, somebody. Celebrate Jesus, somebody. The Lord said, I should tell you, money is coming. You to receive it, you to receive it. You to receive it, you to receive it. You to receive it, you to receive it. You to receive, it. You to receive, it. receive. I said how are you feeling that I feel right <laughs> clap on to Jesus somebody <laughs>
your daughter. You are praying that whatever that the enemy has planned for, about his head and also the ears. You know, the ears. One of your eardrum will tear. You will use what do you call it? Ear aid, yeah. You want to be a nurse? What do you want to be? Actress. What? Actress. Actress? No, you are not an actress. <laughs> she will die. She, you like to act. No, we have the ability to change it. If you can give me a seat, give me a seat. You don't have nothing, so you will be a nurse. Give me something, even if it is one rant. You want to be an actress? I can do it. But your destiny, you'll be a nurse, then you'll graduate to senior nurse. You. You're supposed to work out. Give it to me. Don't you feel cold here? You don't feel cold. Why am I feeling cold? Even with my suit. I'm not dressed. Okay. okay. You don't dress in winter. Yeah. But I came to preach. <laughs> okay. Put it on the altar. Tap the altar seven times. Okay. It is done. That's not the reason why I call you. Everything that the enemy has planned to block your ear. Pack it, Jesus. Pack it, Jesus. back, uh -huh, both of you, keep rubbing. Say our money is now. Say our wealth and riches is now. You to pray, begin to pray. My money is now. My, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Listen, it is done. Congratulations. Yours, it has come in Jesus' name. Your problem is serious. That's this true. one, her problem is very serious. That's true, men of God. That's true. Why is it true? It's true because I know her very well. Okay. There is a strong demon. Yes. Strong manipulation of demons. Yes. You see, what is happening? You'll be admitted to the, at the hospital. Yes. You, you'll be admitted. She was admitted quite, quite long. She, she was admitted? Yeah. yeah. She was admitted? Yes. For how long? It been, uh, she, she, she stays at a shelter where they treat people that are mentally... Uh, uh, Don't you clap for Jesus? Yeah. Do you know me? No, no. Has she spoken to me no, before? No, you never spoke to her. There is a strong spirit. Yeah. That's why, remember, I said, you said that it is done. Yeah. This one, the problem is very serious. It's quite, quite a lot. You, I know, let I me know. tell you, medically, this is they not failed. a medical issue. They failed, yeah. She was not like this. No. 
she was normal. Yeah. And she started hearing voices. Yes, that's what she do. That's what she, that's what she told she you. She laughed. She laughed by herself. She talked and she fight even the Because she hear voices. Yeah. She is not alone. Always yes. she's not alone. I see, I see spirits around her. Yeah. yeah. With this one, if I start prophesying, we will not close. Yeah. It is deep. Yeah, it is very lot. deep. It's a lot. Somebody did this. Yeah. Somebody yeah. did this. May yeah. it return to the sender. Pack up your soul. Jesus Christ, precious name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Jesus name. Break out. And that's why I'm just telling you. It's a very deep thing. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. Make sure she will be here tonight. Okay, I will bring her. Get st- sort the rough one. Okay, bring Get some for me. Thank you, sir. I'll bring it. She will be okay. Thank you, thank you. God bless you. I love you. Please, because of time, let's celebrate, my brother. Let me cut it. Please, sorry, okay? Oh, you wanted me to continue? You wanted me to continue? You don't need to go because we are Rafa and the in the evening. Please, yeah, all of you, let's come. Let's come in the evening. Yes, you. Because because of what your dad said, I will not say anything again. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a spiritual person. I, I, I know. I know. So, listen. Oh, my God. The, the favor of God is so much upon you. This your daughter. Oh, Jesus. Listen, my daughter. Um, can you gift me any amount. Just gift me any amount. Card. Yeah. Do it now and come. Machine. Do it now. Machine. Do it from your heart, okay? Something is happening. This one will bring you joy. This one. Oh my God. Will bring you joy. Happiness. This one. The kind of thing this one will do to you and the person that this one will marry, they will do for you. You will go crazy. You and my sister was, was, oh no, no. When they call you that, that we have we have touched on your account. You say yeah because you know that. <laughs> yeah, this one, my goodness. Give me high five. God have gift, given something to you, okay? Yes, you. for this 
your boy. It is the grace of God that this boy is even like this. Okay, okay, like this. This boy, this, do you know, <laughs> this boy is supposed to be in a wheelchair. Then you will be supporting her. People will be supporting him, sorry. Yes. Do you know that? Yes, my husband of God. It is because of this grace that even this boy is like this. This boy would have been, what do you call it? This sickler or something. Like sickler. If this one, this boy is supposed to be sickle cell, number one. Two, he's suppo- you have a name for it, like, like special, those called special, special. That, that's what the enemy meant. As a matter of fact, yes, as a matter of fact, let me tell you, even what I'm saying is small, it's supposed to have happened to all your children. Yes. But God loves you. This boy, the world is going to know of this boy. Know of this boy. Mark it on the wall. Mark it on the wall. Write today's date. Write my name. It's Elijah. Oh, you don't. This man, I love him, but sometimes I don't love him. He's prophesying for me. You see, all your children, this boy is different. Even as he is like this, he is very sharper than all your children. Is it true? Is it true? His brain, his brain works faster. Very fast, this boy. Are you ready for tonight? (laughs) That is how God made him. But the enemy started at... Listen, my dear sister, let me shock you. The enemy did not attack this boy when you gave birth to him. The enemy attacked the boy in your womb. You should not have even given birth to this boy. This boy should have spoiled in your womb. But God kept him and you for his future sake. This boy carry the destinies of nations. Mark my words. This boy. Yeah. So whatever, whatever that this boy is going through and the attacks that you see about this boy, all those kind of thoughts. And it, a, a time came, huh? he's supposed to fail from top. A certain um, building. From the, are you listening? Yes. Are you following me? But it did not happen. It's supposed to have, as a matter of it nearly happened. Don't worry. Don't worry. Whatever that this boy will be going through and because of this boy, you will be going through you and your family. Don't worry. Amen. You will know the reason why it is so. He is great. I don't anoint case with oil. I don't do that. So I pray for him. Father, keep him because of your word and your assignment over his life. Jesus. You see, as I tag this boy, I see his brains in my hands. The brain is like somebody who is 25. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. When you talk with him, yeah, yeah. He will be speaking like a, an old person. Yeah. How are you? Fine. Hey! <laughs> yeah. The brain, I see the brain. Yeah. This boy, my goodness. Education. Yeah. At brain yeah. education. Yeah. This boy. Even if he will not look into books, the exams results will come. Then he will be number one. Yeah. 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 God bless you. Oh, clap unto Jesus, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. I'm cutting the. 
my brother knows me. I'm cutting the prophecies. Thank you, Jesus. I'm making it short, short, short. <laughs> When you are coming, don't wear any attire. Wear all white. You have all white. <laughs> Do you know that is your problem? You need white must be with you like this. So from today, <laughs> Try that most of your clothes are white. Listen, look at me carefully. You see how I say, look at me. If you start that, eh, you will meet me the next time. And you say, ah, man of God, you are not a human being. You are different. <laughs> My friend said that. <laughs> Grab on to Jesus, somebody. Are you married? Where's your husband? Husband? Your husband? This one? He was giving me instructions. You, I'll give you instructions. You, this guy. <laughs> no, he was doing his job. But now I'm, I'm in my office. I'm also doing my job. <laughs> okay. So, but um, tonight, you, you, will you be at the back of the camera tonight? Okay, then tonight I will slay you people. <laughs> you and your husband, you and your, your wife. Okay? Yeah. Clap unto Jesus, somebody. <laughs> no, let me let me ask something as he's viewing us. Husband. This thing is weighty for me. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. What do you do? I'm an attorney. What the You are an attorney? Yes. Oh! Yes. Then you have, both of you have money. I'll take money from you. <laughs> Listen. Now, bro, this is heavy. If a certain firm or institution make a contract to take your wife from this country without you first. Let's say where they are taking her, you, she will be there for let's say one year to two years before you can go and be with her. Will you allow it? You sure? It is a man. It is a man that is taking. He wants money. Not marriage. I'm not talking about the man. He wants money. Okay, then I'll, I'll then I'll do it for you. Okay, yeah, something big is coming. Amen. So you big, big, say big, big. say it again. Big. Are you a South African? Yes. You 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 are like a West African. Your black your black. She, he knows what I'm talking. My brother knows. We West Africans we like this. Woo! The black beauty. Hi. So tonight, when you and your husband are coming, bring any seed in an envelope. Just bring any seed. Congratulations. Hey. This one. This one. You see how you are cute and short? Your greatness is tall and big. Daughter, you go far. So don't play with your life and with your service to God on this altar. Listen to me. What I'm saying now, maybe you will not understand, but I'm giving you two years. Okay? We will talk private with me and your dad. God bless you. Now oh, come, come, come. 
You do mighty things. You do glorious things. What a faithful God. Awesome. Ah, you do mighty things. Your steps you are being ordered by God. Your steps what are being ordered by God. God. Jesus. Awesome is your name. Let's cover, let's cover some tea in the blood of Jesus. This month, drive eyes wide open. Drive eyes wide open. Or as somebody will give you a problem. Somebody will hit you a car that you are driving. So this month, we are praying by physically to drive eyes wide. This month, I'm talking about this July. After July, you can drive rough. <laughs> but because, I'm telling you, many people don't understand this. After July, he, he can drive rough as rough. Nothing will happen. Do you know why? good news is coming but the enemy want to come ahead of the good news so we stop it in the name of Jesus and we bring the good news I draw the good news to you in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the good news is coming whether the devil likes it or not good news is coming hey! Jesus, God bless you. You do mighty, you do glorious things. What a faithful God! Awesome is Your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. Let's clap hands for Jesus.